Welcome to the third part of our series uh, videos regarding the WordPress online contract plugin. Um, in the last two, we talked about how to download, set it up, and how to add your short codes. In this one, we'll be talking about how to modify and add new contract templates. So, um, first thing we're going to do is click on our contract templates. And inside of this window, you will see something like this. Uh, first, we have three default plugins that come, or contracts that come with our plugin. Um, you can view the source code on them, you can edit these contracts, or you can just use them as a basis to create a new contract. Whenever you go to create a new contract, you would create a new contract, uh, let's say like test contract. And this is the WordPress uh, default editor. Uh, we have no noticed, uh, Sometimes if you use a plugin to modify the default editor, um, it's been known to kind of mess with the saving ability. So if you do run into an issue where you cannot save and you're using a custom WordPress editor, uh, maybe disable that plugin to see if it helps. If it doesn't help, then maybe switch back and forth between visual and text and then save changes. Um, you can uh, write in this as if you would a blog post or a page or anything like that. There's nothing changed. You can upload images. The same thing that you normally do with any post or page. Um, the only difference here is that you can use these contract short codes that you've created in the last step or the last video that we went through um, inside of your contract itself. So let's say if we're going to create a test contract. We're going to be this is a test for and then I'm going to come down here and copy a short code for client name and add that to the, uh, sorry, add that to the contract window. Um, so whenever I go to save this contract, this client name will be replaced with whatever data is input into that client name text box that appears whenever I go to create a contract. This basically allows you to create dynamic contracts. So we use one contract that's used for every single client that wants website design. The only thing that changes is the information inside of the contract pertaining to that client. So based on the short codes that we created in the previous video, whenever we go to add variables or information to those short codes, we can just call the short code here and this, then whenever the contract is actually produced, it'll say this is a test for test person or whatever information that we put in there. So this is one way to create a contract. So we hit save changes after we create the contract. Um, if you go to hit save changes and it just keeps spinning, there's a pretty good chance that you have a uh, security plugin that may be blocking the update functionality. Um, so you can either reach out to us by going to our support help desk or you can uh, disable your security plugin temporarily to see if it fixes the issue. Or you know, if you're in Chrome, you can inspect element and then go to your console window and it'll show you whether it's a 404 or 500 error or something like that where it's trying to hit our uh, plugin. If you see that error here, that means that you probably have a security plugin that's blocking it or your uh, server itself is blocking it. So you just need to allow access to the file in order to build update. Since ours does not block it, you can see over here that the test contract was added to our list of contracts. And if we go to edit this contract, uh, everything that we put in there before will be there. So I'm just going to finish it off. And I'm going to save it again. And that's how you update or add new contracts through the WordPress editor itself. If you have a text file like this one, for example, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Um, so this is a test for uh, weird character there, but I guess I could figure out what that is. Uh, but this is the, uh, the, the the text that it created. If you have a text file that's already formatted to display your contracts, or if you know how to create a text file and it's easier, you can go over here and choose a file and upload it directly here without having to go to the editor. And then you can click on edit the contract and you can edit it within this window. If you want to remove a contract, you just check it and update contracts is going to give you a little warning. Any deletions will be permanent. And then it's gone. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty efficient way to get contracts in there. You can use any of the short codes that are available here. Um, since the contract that we're trying to edit uh, doesn't no longer exist, it's going to display a message like this. 
but we can always go over here and update one of our existing contracts. And as you can see from here, we have the short codes produced throughout the contract, and I'll show you the end result in one of our final videos. Um, but you can kind of see how we use it, uh, use these as a template for your contracts or create something using the same principle that we did here. Okay, so the next part, we have a section over here called Other Templates because it was highly requested to go to customize the CSS as well as the information that's sent over in the emails. So now that we're done with contract templates, we're going to click on Other Templates. As you can see here, if you know how to edit CSS, you can pretty much read what all of this stuff is. It basically just makes it where the, uh, the contract itself uses a certain font. Uh, you can change this to whatever other kind of font you want to add. Um, it removes a few things that comes with uh, WordPress automatically that we just didn't need where we have a clean slate when we're going to do a contract um, and then it just has some responsive capabilities in it. So if you do edit this or the contract print CSS, you have to keep the same kind of structure. As you can see here, it's ugly but it's all on one line because whenever you go to print, it's actually using the JavaScript to call it and if you add spaces or new lines in your JavaScript it will break it. So if you want to modify this just kind of make sure that you keep up with the way that we did it kind of make it the same if you want to change the font margins uh, font family whatever you want to do just make sure that it stays on that one line even if it's wrapped just as long as it's you know one single line whenever it's printed out. Up here it doesn't really matter it's just a normal style sheet you can do whatever you want to with it. Okay, so the next section is your notification email template. This is the template that is sent over to your clients whenever you check the box saying send this contract to a client and you hit update. They will get an email notification that has the subject, a new contract has been created for you or whatever you decide to put there, um, as well as the text here. Uh, we included a default contract link shortcode. That isn't one that we created. It's one that's pre-built by the system. Um, this basically just gives them a clickable link that they can click on and sign the contract without having to log in, without having to do anything else. Uh, but you can also add other things in this, like for example, client name. We're going to put this here and it's HTML, so you have to you know, li know a little bit about HTML. If you don't know that much, you can look down here and it shows you a little bit about what you can add to it. But this would basically say, you know, test person, a new contract has been created for you. Can, can you, you can view and sign this contract online using the following link, which would then produce a link to the contract. So any of these short codes that are part of the contract are available to the client to be able to view. So you can put in, you know, how much they owe, um, you know, who was signed by at hourly rate. You could basically put the entire contract in the email if you wanted to. However, I wouldn't do that because they wouldn't be able to sign it. Okay, so this concludes the uh, third video in our series. Um, the next video, we're going to be talking about the payment options um, and then viewing, signing a contract, um, editing the contract once it's been signed or opening it back up so you can edit it. Um, the previous video was talking about the uh, short codes and then before that was uh, set up settings as well as installation. So we look forward to seeing you in the next video and thanks for watching.